So do not well look up for video again. This is Think Electric Africa. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. For all of you that have been viewing me for a while, thank you. This is another video and we're going to do something different. I met a young guy, a young Nigerian doing wonderfully well. He made his own car and he's on the street riding it. So I felt like uh, for Think Electric Africa, this is what we encourage. We want people to be able to do things by themselves and come up with a solution to make Africa better. Please welcome Michael. Please. Yeah. Michael, how are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm fine. I can see, I can see. I mean, I was uh, surprised when I saw you yesterday and, and you were riding your own car. Yes, sir. Tell us about that. Uh, yesterday, I just want to take a walk outside to see a friend. So I decided taking my Zephyr look where I don't. Yeah. And that's the reason you saw me yesterday. Okay, so Zephyr is your, yeah. is your own Zephalo. beat car. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, before we delve into all that brought that perform, can you give us a little bit about your background? Who are you, really? I'm in the Michael. Like you called me. So I, I'm from Ekiti State. So, Ori Ekiti, precisely. I went to Olabisi Onobanjo University for my degree. So, I, I studied plant science. So, that makes me a botanist. Normally, I wanted to go for mechanical engineering in school, okay. but I, I tried it twice, but I wasn't given the chance. Oh. So instead of me staying home, I decided to uh, collect the plant sign. I, I should just do it to have a degree. And that was the reason I have to go for plant sign. I started it from my imagination. Right. Normally, when I was in GSS2, a woman came to our school then, so she talked about dream book. And I came to realize what dream book really looks like. So when I got to number three, I, what I put down was I would be the one to construct the car I'm going to use. The first I'm going to use, I'll be the one to construct it myself. So that thing stick to my, to my mind, to my thought. So when I got to Olabisi Onobando, I acquired some knowledge by doing things with people I met. So 2017, I decided I want to start building a car. But it doesn't just come. Just because I have it in my mind and in my thoughts since when I was in years two. So I started coupling some money, Little, little money. I tried packing it together, so I started. So I taught him on how he can teach me on how to use, uh, how to wait. So I started waiting. I I went a day, but I became blind for four days. <laughs> so, <laughs> so after the four days, after the fourth day, the fifth day, there's nothing you can bring that I can't wait. I mean, when I went for my service, I would come home every weekend. Thank God, my I served at, uh, in Hondo State then, so, and it's not far from this place. So I come, home I come every weekend to come and do something, at, at least spend money on this thing. When I finish my service, this thing hasn't has any tire. And I'm eager to see to see it through. Normally, I propose two years for the car to be on the road, but just because uh, there's no uh, help support from anybody. For you to be rest assured, we will go on a test ride as well. I love to drive a small compact a piece of engineering that I love to identify myself with. Yeah. Uh, for my engine, my engine is a 1.6 liter Volkswagen engine. Why my chair is a force pitch transmission. I wanted to reach 90 km, but I tried, I reached 86 km. So, this top speed you've been able to test on a free road without braking? Yes. 86, 86 km. Do you think it could go higher? It can. It can. I want to use clay to get the shape, the shape. Okay. so after the shape I'm fiberglassing the, the car and that serves as the body, body uh, shape. Yeah, the, the front view, it looks like uh, the Lamborghini, it's 
inside it looks like a Ferrari and a Porsche. Why the back view is similar to Lamborghini Gallardo and some Ferraris too? So, well, you heard it is a mixture of all the popular brands that exist. That makes this car more expensive when it's completed. You yeah. get that, so you bring $500 million <laughs> to, to buy one. Okay guys, I just came out of the Cephalo Fox and this is a well built car. I enjoyed my ride. I could feel the inrush of hair in my face as I was driving because there's no wind windshield up. So I think Michael, please uh, come. You've done a very fantastic job. I have to say good job to you. I uh, think Electric Africa will be partnering up to make sure his dream comes to reality. We call on Nigerians, those in the diaspora, we call on Africans, we call on the whole world support this mission. His dream is to build his own car. Right by himself and build for his family. Okay.
watch out for the second version of this vehicle, the second model will be better than this. And um, I'm signing out on this note. Please check this place for all other videos. Enjoy us. Subscribe to this channel, you know, and let us learn together. Peace out. Yeah. Okay, so.